Hey guys, welcome back. All right, today's video is gonna be really short. I apologize for the air conditioner noise that kicked on right before I started this video, it's very annoying. Uh, but today I'm gonna to do a really quick initial thoughts on Duralumin metal paint. A whole bunch of people have asked if I've tried it, so I bought some, um, and here are my initial thoughts. And I'm working on some, some of these medals here that I did last year for the LA Whip competition. Um, initial thoughts, I really like it, I really like it. Now, um, one of the things that I was drawn to about this was that you, apparently you were able to clear coat this with an automotive 2K clear coat, which is very protective stuff. So I was like, uh, that's awesome. Now, it, it, uh, you could clear coat it without a barrier layer, which is what I had to do with the all clad paint. If you've seen my other video where I did these metals last year, you can see that I'm working on these right now. Um, so here's some raw Duralumin on a part very good, very comparable to all clad. However, immediately right out of the bottle, it is sturdier than all clad. I didn't get the Duralumin tough. I just got the regular Duralumin right away sturdier. Um, I did a Marky and Row helmet for the Star Wars channel, which is on one of their current videos. And I took a bunch of footage myself, which I'll post here soon. I just have to do a little bit of editing. Uh, the finish, all the metal finish I did on there, I did with Duralumin, no top coat weathered it looks freaking awesome came out really 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 good so i'm very happy with it in that regard uh when i went to do the 2k clear coat on it it's not bad it's interesting so here are two pieces that have been clear coated the gold metals and then the silver and let me get something in here you can see it's pretty reflective still and this is more reflective in camera than it is in person now i think in general, metal stuff looks more reflective in camera. I'm trying to get some stuff here to reflect. I'm going to put my hand in front. Um, it definitely looks more reflective in camera. Now, if I was making a prop to be used on screen for anything, this is great. This is more than sufficient. You can put a clear coat on it, tint it, weather it really good, and it's going to be really, really sturdy. Um, however, I think that the results I was getting with all clad and then an acrylic barrier layer and then the 2K clear coat were, was more reflective in person. It was a clearer reflectivity, which again, in camera, doesn't matter so much. Like in camera, this level of reflectivity is pretty good. Let me get something taller here to reflect back so, so you can kind of see, you know, it's it's decent. It's not, it's a little hazy, uh, but, but, but good, it's good enough. Um, let's see how to put this. So the 2K directly on the Duralumin looks better than 2K directly on all clad. However, I think the all clad process I did in the previous video with the metals, for example, looks better in person. And I'll post a link to that video at the end of this. Um, those are my very, very early, early initial thoughts. I really, really like the Duralumin. I'm going to do um, another video soon just doing Duralumin on another project and I'll go through the whole process. And uh, I'm going to do a video of the Marky and Row helmet and once it's edited. And it won't showcase the Duralumin necessarily, but you'll get to see it in there. And I got some close-ups where you can see how reflective it is. And it looks very, very good. So anyway, those are just my initial thoughts. I'm just going to leave it at that, keep the video short. And um, I'll be back with some more uh, on this paint soon-ish, as soon as I can do a, a proper assessment. But overall, really good, really good, especially in its raw form. If you're just going straight for silver you don't need to clear coat it it's freaking awesome i would totally recommend it for that clear coated depends on depends on what you're using it for but uh anyway that's all i'm gonna get out of here before i ramble anymore thanks for stopping by i will see you kids soon bye